hat ihr schnauzt sich seit Ewigkeiten bei mir durch und sie wollen ihn nicht wieder einstellen, den Sünden, den nicht durch! Well, my name is Max Aaron, and I think I've forgotten how to dress myself, but at this point I'm just going along with it. So for once in my life, the lighting is actually working with me today, and it doesn't look like I just crawled onto the set of Breaking Bad. But anyway, over the past few months, I... Uh... But anyway, over the past few months, my channel has been getting a lot more views and subscribers than I thought that it w ever would. Like, right now, as of Saturday, my channel has 7,500 subscribers, and I... <sighs> Why? But I thank you guys so much for that because that's a lot of people and I'm glad you genuinely appreciate what I'm doing because I don't even know what I'm doing. So the fact that you guys like that is... It's just so amazing and I'm so thankful for that. I can't stress that enough. I'm really bad at thanking people for things. But thank you. <laughs> But amongst some of my newer viewers and subscribers, a lot of people have been asking me how I film, edit, make my intros and stuff like that. So I just decided to put that all into one video because I keep answering one person at a time. I look like I'm not wearing pants. So I feel like it only makes sense to start this video off with what I start all of my videos off with and that is my intro video type thing. So just a few weeks ago I changed my intro to a completely different one with a different song and everything just because I wanted something different and the other one got boring. But I didn't make either of those because I'm not smart enough to figure that out. They both came from a website called Velocify.com which I am not sponsored by. It's just such a great website. They have like over a hundred they have like over a hundred different intros that you can choose from and you can customize them with your name and like icons and stuff and I know a lot of other people on YouTube use them. Then I changed the background song for it because I didn't like the song that they had in the background and Future James is one of my favorite people on SoundCloud so I used one of his songs. My tea is getting cold. Then I'm gonna move on to the camera that I use. I... Uh, what are you... Huh? I sound Australian. What I use to record is a Canon EOS Rebel T3i and an 18 by 55 millimeter lens because I don't want to buy another one. You don't understand how sweaty my legs are. <laughs> I got the camera from a seller on eBay for I think around $300 because it's a refurbished model and they don't sell it anymore in stores. Personally, I'm not ready to invest in a more expensive camera yet because this camera is good right now. It's just my editing software that I have a problem with and I'll get onto that later. And on top of my camera, I acted like you could see that. And on top of my camera, I have a Rode VideoMic Go because the sound quality on the Canon T3i isn't that great and you can see that from some of my first videos. I'm pregnant. I'm raisins. <laughs> this microphone does make the camera go... go dead. <laughs> So then that means that this microphone is powered by the video camera, so the camera is going to die a lot faster. So if you have the microphone connected to it, it's probably going to last about an hour or an hour and a half when it's recording. I don't know how long it records without it because I don't sit there and do that with my time. On to my poop editing software. So recently my editing software got an update and it's the worst thing ever. I don't know if it was trying to keep up with Windows 10 or something because I have a Toshiba laptop so I don't have like iMovie or anything. I use Wondershare but now it's called Wondershare Filmora. When I first got the editing software I got like a free trial for 30 days or something but then it started putting its watermark on the video. You had to pay $40 to get that off as the full version and I did that and it's still the software that I'm using now. Ever since I got the camera I noticed that the quality had been like brought down a little bit from the actual raw footage and that didn't bother me that much but since the update it's gotten so much worse. I didn't notice it on my last video but I definitely see it in my other ones. On the side there's like these two black bars and they're only a few pixels wide but they bother me so much and they show up after I export the video from the new new editing software. So I have to find new editing software. I heard Sony Vegas is good but since that's like Adobe software it's probably like $200. So if you're that committed, there's that. I don't even want to discuss lighting 
because that's always a hit or a miss. Where I film, I have a window right here. You guys have seen that before. And I have a window like in front of me and sometimes they don't like match up or when it's overcast out, the room just looks so ugly. And I completely forgot to clean over here. But two weeks ago, I tried to use this lamp as lighting for behind the camera and that didn't work at all because it looked like someone just had poured a whole bunch of canola oil over my lens. The whole thing was yellow and it was still like poop quality so but today you know it looks like I know what I'm doing that's another reason why I'm filming on Saturday but anyway that's the gist of how I film my videos and I probably miss some things so thank you guys so much for watching leave a like if you enjoyed and subscribe for new videos every Monday bye